Yes, yes, Massive Room Crew, we're back again with another video and today's video is about how to uh, set up your media bay. Um, and the reason why I'm going to do this because the next coming videos is going to be all about sort of using a little bit of a workflow in Cubase and the media play, sorry, the media bay plays a big role in um, sort of making things progress uh, quite well, yeah? So what we're going to do here is you go to your, where it says media, uh, media bay and basically it's real simple uh, you go to where it says local hard disks or wherever you've got your sample library uh, I've got my sample library all sorted out here uh, into sort of different categories as you can see um, I've got all my kind of break sounds etc uh, etc et stuff that I've used and processed myself and um, obviously other, other bits and bobs, sample CDs, all kinds of collections in there, yeah? Now I tend to use the mini browser uh, simply because the mini browser seems to have not so much um, harshness on the computer. Uh, another thing that I've done before, um, I've set this all up as well, so I've run dish, disk utility because I think it's very important that your um, disk that you've got your stuff stored on and I've got it on an internal IDE, not an external drive on my Mac Pro. Um, if you've got USB 3.0 then you should have no problems at all um, you know connecting um, an external uh, USB also USB 2 should be okay but for for me I've just um, got it on an internal drive because I've got the space to do that on my Mac Pro 1.1 it's an old computer but as I said it's maxed out in my other videos and um, uh, for that reason uh, it's it's great for for, for sort of um, having a, you know lots of hard drive space and stuff so you would go up to where it says uh, media browser uh, media bay sorry click on there and you go into where it says your local hard uh, hard disks here uh, and as you can see I've got my main hard drive I've got my sound library here my sound library um, drive is what you would tick so that's where I've got all my sounds and then um, as you can see, it starts to scan here and go through a bit of a mission looking for sounds, etc. Now, for, for my um, personal use, I prefer to use the, me um, the mini media bay, uh, which is a mini browser, sorry, which is here. And then how I would do it uh, is I'll go to here, I'll go to local hard drives. And then if you click this button here, um, it will show you kind of the sub menus um, that, uh, that are on your actual local drives or something like that deep results that's it so it would scan um subfolders that's the idea behind this um now i double click here and as you can see here's my sound library um that's all configured and basically laid out how i want it um let's go into here uh, this is a new sample pack that i'm actually working on at the moment um it's the busy Bee science volume two um, let's see so in here get some breaks going so you go for some breaks for example flick through once you find what you want uh, you can then load it into your browser um, now here is um, this allows you to sort of cycle your preview so it will actually loop a beat okay. and th this is your preview volume Okay, so that's that. Um, and then once you decide what you want, you'd literally just drag it in like that. And that's how the media browser works. You click back here to go, you know, back a level. It's like browsing through your computer directory. I'm sure you guys already know how to do that. Um, and that's basically it. Um, also, you go to here uh, and this allows you to um, set the maximum amount of uh, samples that it finds because what you tend to find with this is it tends to kind of uh, by default it's set to 100,000 I think or 10,000 and sort of when this starts to scan and uh, finds sort of 10,000 samples uh, on my c actual computer uh, it tends to slow it down um, and I find this is a little bit laggy so I set mine to a thousand as um, maximum and uh, yeah, that, that's basically what works for me. So once you've got your media bay um, set up, uh, what you do literally is when you go to um, a VST instrument, so let's get another workspace going here. Uh, da, 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 window, yeah, let's go to Project Minimal and Racks, yeah. 
I like these workspaces, man. They're really cool. Uh, click on the the um, the rack. I'm going to do another video a bit more in depth about this. This is just a quick little thing. I just want to show you the benefit of doing that, yeah? Because as uh, as you're sort of browsing, by default, um, Halion and Groove Agent, all those sounds, they just literally go to their own banks. And this is why um, I said to you, configure this with your own sound library. As you can see, it's taking a little bit of time to load. Again, this is all about the scanning disks. Uh, probably worth setting up an SSD drive on your computer so things load much quicker. Um, at the moment, it's probably not normal that I'm getting this spinning wheel. Uh, but um, I believe I've just installed Steinberg's Absolute 2 plugin, uh, which does take a little bit of um, initialization, I believe, when you first run it. So I'm not sure how long this is, uh, but I'm going to skip forward and get this thing loaded up for you. Okay, so it turns out it was a little bit of a crash, so I had to restart the Cubase and reload Halion to show you. So basically, your Halion loads up. This is where we've uh, left off. Hit the um, edit button, and then Halion should appear somewhere on the screen. Here we go. It's on my second monitor. Okay, so great. So now once that loads now, see, you've already got this um, sort of Halion City um plugin you can actually download um a demo of halion and seriously it's a full working demo uh and it's their way of getting you addicted to it um halion is a bit daunting daunting um when you first sort of get into it i used to use the old one uh but this one it's got so much more stuff in here so it takes quite a while to get used to it and then once you've finally got the hang of it um yeah i can say it's a bad sampler and i'm doing quite well on it to uh, considering so basically you go to the the program that you the the next the, to this part here and you would go load now normally you would have um basically all these instruments which is what you what you don't want yeah so um what you do is you go to the browser now and basically on the browser where you've configured, I believe, uh, should be should come up or you could probably just use the file system here. But on the mini bay, uh, that's where uh, the configuration would show. So basically you would go to here and you'd load in your samples. That's pretty much there you go. lovely little time switch there. And you'd load that in. But I'm going to show you a Halion demo. Or, or if you want to see a Halion demo, please comment down below. Let me know what you want to see in Cubase. And I'll do my best to research it if I don't know it. and do, Or do a demo, a basic demo, just to get you started. So, um, that's pretty much it, folks. Uh, this video is just about setting up to use your own samples, yeah? Peace out.